I'm picking my own TBR this month. I am bringing it back, okay? I know that for the past however many months, honestly, I can't remember when I first started doing TBRs and the like fun type of genre that we like dived into that we all as a collective in the book community decided to stop just making our own TBRs and like let jars or a board game or whatever thing that we can think up do it. But let me tell you guys, I am four months into the year. I am living in April and I have not yet found a five-star read. Therefore, I am on the hunt. I am on the search for a five-star read, especially this month. I can't go into May without one. Since I'm dedicating this month to finding a five-star read, I just want to mood read the whole entire month and just find books and put them into videos the way that I can just read whatever I want this month. So I'm building my own TBR. There are so many new releases coming out this month. So I wanna start off with those. And if I'm gonna start off with telling you guys about this month's new releases, I have to tell you guys about Book of the Month, who is the kind sponsor of today's video. So thank you so much to the Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video. Listen, you guys have to know what this bright blue box means. And if you don't, it means happiness at your doorstep. And you can get your first book for just $5 this month, but more on that in a second. Book of the Month is here to help new and emerging authors and help readers find books that they love. Their team vets through hundreds of selections each month and curates their own choice of a selection that way you guys can just see the selections pop up for the month and you can spend more time reading these than researching what you want to read this month and i can't tell you how many times i have looked through the new book of the month selections and i found a book that i know that i would have never got to if it weren't for them so they're also helping me you know, expand my book tastes as well. Also, I did just want to tell you guys that Book of the Month does have an amazing app. I browse their app all the time. I absolutely love it. It's where you guys can make your selections. You can track reading progress. There's so many different things going on in the app that I would 100% recommend you guys to check out. Also, this is kind of a newer thing. You guys can choose whether or not you want your credit to be a hardcover physical copy or if you want it to be an audiobook. They also have the best price for new and release hardcover fiction. I just hinted to you guys that you guys can get your first book for just $5 and that is true. This month you guys can get your first book for just $5. That is literally a hardcover new release. What I'm about to show you my selections for just $5 this month with the code pastel. I'm going to have it up on the screen. There's going to be a link down in the description. Shipping is always free and they offer a loyalty program to customers. So what more can you ask for? Listen, the serotonin that I feel when this bright blue box comes up and guys, I am so excited for my selects this month. They're going direct directly onto the April TBR. They are correlating with my wanting to mood read and everything this month. First of all, we have Holly Jackson's new book. And you guys know, I love, I love Holly Jackson. I recently read her other young adult book and I absolutely love her Good Girls Guide to Murder series. So I am very, very, very excited to pick this one up. Put that right there for safekeeping. Before I show you the next book that you guys know, you guys already know, but we have the bookmark. Okay, let's see, what does this say? Page is just a number. They put the serotonin of the bright blue iconic color on the bookmarks too. I have these bookmarks in so many of my books. My other selection for this month, you guys, Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. You guys know Abby Jimenez last year quickly became one of my favorite authors and I have been shaking in anticipation for this new release and I have just been sitting and staring at this for a while if I'm going to be honest with you guys. So I am so excited to dive into this. Absolutely going to be at the very, very top of my TBR this month. Again, you guys can pick from these selections. Get your first book for just $5 with the code PASTEL. The link's gonna be down in the description. Check out Book of the Month if you somehow haven't already. Yet. and thank you so much book of the month for sponsoring today's video let's find some more books to put on this month's tbr first and foremost i do want to go on goodreads i know goodreads always has their own like little spot every month for their new releases I also have to get my notes app ready since a lot of these are not yet out. I want to put them down in my notes. That way I can put them up in a page later on to make my physical TBR. Let's scroll. At the very top, they already know that funny story by Emily Henry. I definitely think it's the most anticipated or one of them to come out of this month. I am so excited anytime Emily Henry releases a new book life just feels a little sweeter okay we already have just for the summer next up the rule book oh my i'm so excited i actually did hear that this is a part of the cheat sheet it's one of the guys from the cheat sheet last year i read sarah adams the two books that were like super popular last year i feel like around the spring and summertime of sarah adams books and i really really enjoyed them and i feel like the way that her writing has went into because i really enjoyed the cheat sheet and then i remember i went back to read some of her backlist and i didn't really enjoy those like near as much but then i went back 
back and read her more newer release books and I feel like I really really like those. All in all I feel like the general consensus for Sarah Adams is that I like her newer released stuff so I'm very excited and I feel like I'll really like this one. Taming 7. Listen, obviously it's going to be on the list. Obviously it is going to be on the list y'all. If you guys don't know, Boys of Tommen is one of my favorite series ever. It is like top five for me and I have been waiting for Gibsy's book since I first started Binding 13. Like ever since he was introduced I was like when is his book coming out? Because I need it. I have been counting down the days until I get Gibsy's book. This month is the month. I am so, so, so excited. See, the reappearance of Rachel Price. We have Wild Love. So excited for this one as well. I absolutely adored the Chestnut Spring series. And this one's kind of like a spinoff. Kind of like, what is the... F I have all of those books in the series. The first series that Elsie Silver wrote. And then Chestnut Springs is technically a spinoff to those books. And then this is like a spinoff to Chestnut Springs. I'm so excited. This one is kind of like the same, but it's like billionaire. Is he a billionaire? Millionaire? Millionaire or billionaire? Is there? I know that those were like some off the top of my head. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, Powerful. That's right. The novella for Powerless. I think this follows like her best friend. We can definitely put that on the list because I love Powerless. I think that does that come out in June or July? One of those two months, I think. Doesn't it come out over this like over the summer? But this one follows her best friends like a little novella. Okay, I think that those are all of the ones that I am like the most excited for that are on the top of my list that I don't have like the physical copy of right now. Now that we've looked at those, let's start building the actual physical TBR for this month. So let's go over to my physical TBR and let's go see like what I'm in the mood for to mood read this month. Well, it's April and the mood that I'm in is definitely like romance, but I feel like I could really read anything definitely some literary fiction i feel like i'm into right now and since we're getting into the warmer months i feel like i'm yearning for those like summer romances and i feel like sometimes i like reading summer romances to get into summer to get me more excited for the season than i do actually reading them in summer i don't know if that makes any sense why do i keep saying that hey let's stop okay let's go over to the physical tbr okay hello guys welcome over here <laughs> Over here, we're gonna look at my physical TBR. I've already explained this. Why am I like over explaining? Anyway, so the other day I picked up the paperback of the Five Star Weekend because I actually have been listening to the audiobook of this one. I would say I'm kind of in between putting it on my physical TBR because I actually plan on reading, listening, reading a lot of audiobooks this month because I am gonna be doing some spring cleaning for like an entire week and I plan on like literally just listening to audiobooks and I plan on making a video out of it. Let me know down below if you guys would be excited for that because I kind of want to do like a listen to audiobooks with me for a week type of video. I'm trying to see how that would span out in my head. I'm really trying. This is one of them that I'm kind of like in the middle of reading. But then again, I just feel like reading an Ellen Hildebrand book while sitting on the beach just hits different. And I don't know if she's releasing a new one this year. I know she released The Hotel Nantucket like the year before. And then I think The Five Star Weekend was like last year's newer release. I just eat up her books. I feel like I'm gonna put this on there, but it all just depends on if I want to listen to the audiobook because if I don't listen to the audiobook, it's because I wanna save this to read on the beach, but I also have the audiobook. And it kind of feels like spilling tea. Listening to this audiobook feels like I'm on the phone and they're like telling me all the tea. We actually have a few books. I don't know if you guys can see, but right here. These are some mood reads that I started having towards the end of March, but there was just like way too much going on with like videos and stuff for me to get to these. So I actually do want to put all of these on the TBR. So first and foremost, we have Apples Never Fall by Leanne Moriarty. The uh, TV show recently came out for this. And if you guys know, listen, I've said this until I'm blue in the face. I have to read the book first. If there is a TV or movie adaptation and I know that there is a book, I have to read the book first. I want to read this and then get into the show. I did the same exact thing with Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty so that I could watch the show on Hulu and then I quite literally still to this day have never <laughs> watched the show but I did end up reading the book so I can always watch the show is the gist of it. I'm gonna put this one on there. Thank you Haley because she is the reason I want to read that. Also I'm going to try. I'm gonna try. I got like 60, 50 percent no, not 50%, 50, 60 pages into this and I wasn't loving it. But I was also trying to read it in the middle of a 24 hour readathon and I just don't feel like this is the book for that. I do also want to get to this because everybody's talking about the movie, TV show and Sarah's been talking about it. Then we have Pineapple Street. This is one that I've 
had my eye on for about a year now. I've owned this book and I started reading a little bit of it. I think I got two. 25 pages in. They live in New York. Like this apartment on the front is like their apartment. And that type of drama is so entertaining. And then we also have Nora Goes Off Script. So this is another one inspired by Bestie Haley. I think she really enjoyed this one. I think same time next summer I also have by this author. If I end up getting to this book in April and really like it, I'll probably save the next one for May. But this one is giving that spring summer vibe, vibe that I'm wanting to go into in these months. So I'm really wanting to do this one. I think it's just like more of a literary fiction because I mean we have an Ellen Hildebrand blurb on the back ladies and gentlemen. I think Haley likes this author so I trust Haley with her recommendations. Well we have one, two, three, four, five sitting on here. This is why I don't make my own TBR anymore because I get so carried away. As I look at these and I'm like oh I can't wait to read them and then I'm like where did you think that you had the time did you think you were like superwoman or something going into the month like where did you think you had the time ma'am but I guess I think that I have the time so I actually just realized that I have some Ellen Hildebrand books that I have never read that are sitting on my physical TBR so we can definitely put the five star weekend on here to listen to the audiobook because I didn't realize that I still have a few Ellen Hildebrand books I'm trying to get this but like everything is not moving. This looks good in thought, you know? And then this happens, okay. Oh, this is like a nightmare. I also have What You Wish For by Katherine Center. This one is one off of her backlist and I think she's like a school librarian and I don't know, I just kind of like, this one has been sticking out to me recently. We're gonna put this on there. I also have Treacherous. This is another series by Chloe Walsh and I've just been really wanting to get into this. So I think I kind of want to put this on the TBR this month as well. We're getting carried away. So let me continue to look. This is another, like my fear is that I'm gonna do, cause I wanna do, cause you guys asked me to do another, can I finish my TBR? And then my TBR is gonna be like 30 books long. And I'm gonna be like, yeah, can I finish 30 books in a week? <laughs> Here's the thing, in May, I'm actually going to the beach. So I have a few already on my radar for May that I wanna read. Like I'm looking at some and I wanna pick them up and I'm like, no, I kinda wanna save those for when I'm literally just not doing anything except sitting on the beach. I don't know y'all, I don't really know. I did want to buy The House on the Cerulean Sea and read that this month because I don't know why I've always looked at that book and it's just screamed April in my brain. So we also might add that. So you know what, let's grab these. Let's not get too crazy because wouldn't it be insane? I was like, yeah, sorry guys. I couldn't even do the Can I Finish My TBR because I finished it before the last week. That's in like a, in an ideal world. <laughs> We're back over here for our TBR this month. We have Funny Story, The Rule Book, Taming Seven, Wild Love, and Powerful. They aren't out yet, but I do want to get to those these month. These month? Yeah. So we have five that aren't out yet. Then we have The Reappearance of Rachel Price. And we have Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. And then we also have The Five Star Weekend by Ellen Hildebrand. Apples Never Fall. One Day. Pineapple Street. Laura Goes Off Script. What You Wish For. And Treacherous. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's honestly not even bad. Should we add like one or two more? No, like let's make it challenging. Let's add one or two more. Should we go over to my series shelf and try to like, I don't know, continue or start a series? We're over at my series shelf. I guess I just want to make myself miserable by never completing a monthly TBR fully because why do I keep adding books? Why not just keep it simple? At least one more. Like let's make it 15. Let's make it 15, shall we? I feel like one that I've been asked so many times to get to and that I feel like also kind of gives me a spring vibe and I have never read it. And so maybe this will be the month that I pick up Renegade. We've done 15 books for the TBR this month. Stick around all throughout the month. See in different reading vlogs. If I get to them, you guys have seen it. If other people see reading vlogs and they haven't seen this video, you guys will have more knowledge than them because you'll be like, ooh, she's ticking this book and this book off the monthly TBR. I wonder if she'll even have to do the Can I Finish My TBR video because she's already finished it. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's April TBR. I was really debating on doing these anymore because I just genuinely didn't know. Like, I wanted to do a little audience check if you guys enjoyed these. And I got so many people being like, we love them. Okay, girl, do not stop doing them. And I feel like, too, if I do try to pair the Can I Finish the TBR video at the end of the month, I feel like it just does help kind of bring some relevancy to the TBR within itself and keep you accountable. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, you guys don't do like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff that you guys know how to do. Thank you so much again to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video don't forget you guys go check them out in the description get your first book for five dollars with the code pastel and i will see you guys when i see ya peace